Hey everyone, Vega here for Serpent X Tech and it's time for part four in our series, how to build a crypto mining rig. With this one focusing on the GPU aspect. And by this time, at least in the series, you should already have in your mind the set number of GPUs that you're going to build in this mining rig, right? Not You're not gonna build the actual GPUs, but you would know how many GPUs you're going to get because you already de designed your own mining rig or maybe you built the mining rig, you bought the mining frame or you're just using a shelf with a bunch of zip ties or 3D printed brackets. It doesn't matter because you already decided the motherboard that's gonna support the number of GPUs that you're gonna have as well as the CPU and memory which I went over in the previous video. So we're all past that. Now it's time to choose what is the best GPUs you should get? Well, there's plenty of good information out there. Uh, I mean, even some of our top tech tubers or tech websites that do traditional computer reviews or computer hardware reviews have a list. Like Tom'sHardware.com has a list here. They they don't keep it up to second up to date, but they do keep it relatively up to date. And you can see here that the pricing is the street pricing, not the MSRP. For example, look at the 580. The 580 should be around 80 to 100 bucks or less, but instead it's around 400 dollars. And this list also includes the latest and greatest 6000 series from AMD and the latest and 3000 series from Nvidia. However, the list does not include the previous non-LHR non cards. Say that five times fast. But it's still a good list to use nonetheless, as well as NiceHash has a list uh, of their top five. I'd say 3090, Radeon 7, 3080. 3070, 3060 Ti, but again, these are the non-LHR versions, not the LHR ones. And then also our favorite tech tubers. But I'm gonna give you a tool to use to help you determine and that you can make a copy of and just use at your leisure. But all of our favorite tech tubers like Voscoin, Mining Chamber, Red Panda Mining, including myself, Son of a Tech, have done videos as far as the best GPU for mining. My list is actually derived from our brother Savage Mine. I took it over and I'm trying to keep it updated, but I'm opening it up for all of you. Mine, when you click the link, is gonna be view only, but just make a copy. And when you make a copy, let me run you through a couple things real quick. So the most important thing that you wanna alter or edit is the pricing of the GPU. Remember, you wanna use street pricing, not MSRP. Uh, because that's the pricing you're gonna actually buy the GPU at. Unless you get it at MSRP, well then, good for you. And there's ways to do that actually. EVJ's Notify queue is up and running and I actually was able to score a GPU or two from that list, but I signed up at the release date of those GPUs. And then there's the new egg shuffle that occasionally goes out, if not every day, almost every other day. So there are ways, including Discord stock drops, like the stock notifications in my Discord, that you can utilize to try to gain a GPU at close to MSRP. Obviously the tariffs, and the current market conditions have increased the pricing over the traditional MSRP or launch MSRP, but at least you wouldn't be paying scalper prices. Moving on though, in this list, we could see the cost per GPU. We could see the mega hash. Now the mega hash here, most of them on here are actual mega hash or testing that we've provided or the community's provided on, uh, but you can add a new GPU very easily and input your own data. You just gotta fill out every field. I would fill out the cost, the mega hash, don't worry about the dollar cost per mega hash, but that that metric is gonna be very important in you deciding what's the best GPU. The actual wattage when you're mining, and this is at the wall, not software. For example, the 6600 XT, Disney Mining showed 55 and everybody thought 55, but it's, you wanna measure at the wall, which we saw 70, 72, somewhere like that. And what happens is, is when we change something over here, for example, the 6600 XT, we have a price of 620 bucks. If we look that up on the street pricing, street pricing says 600. So it actually went down because the non-XT model came out. Watch what happens when I change this from 620 to 600. Look over here towards the right side of the screen, right below me. When I hit enter, it just dropped the dollar cost per mega hash down, which is good. And then there's additional fields in here, right? What happens if we, you know, what is the 70% TDP um, considered the, the stock TDP, right? The overall stock TDP of the card, 70%, 60%, and then the biggest thing is efficiency. What is the actual mega hash per watt? The mega hash per watt is a very important metric because that helps you determine how efficient that GPU is. For example, this XFX 590 at 480 bucks getting 32 mega hash sucking up 130 watts is not all that good. 
Uh, forgive the beeps and dongs, I'm still working. But to calculate the mega hash yourself, it's very simple, guys. Just open up a calculator. You type in the mega hash. Let's say 32 for the 6600 XT. Divide by the power draw, 70 watts. We're getting 0.45, and that's pretty much what's on par with right here. So in this list, I'm going to have it already sorted this way. But if you needed to sort by a certain column, just come up here to the icon next to each name. And you can sort by Z to A or A to Z. And you can see that the worst card on this list is the NVIDIA CMP30HX. Because the card costs about 1000 bucks, but it only gets 26 mega hash. And that's $38.46 per mega hash. Absolutely ridiculous. But let's sort it the other way. And that will help us determine the best GPU or ASICs, because there are ASICs on here, but the cost of ASICs, as you can see, is, is quite high. So, looking at this list, we can see that the 5700 is pretty good. Uh, the 5600, but the, the pricing isn't, but it's good. Uh, the 1660 Ti is doing good. And that pricing on, the, on this card fell as well. And you may be watching this in the future and be like, Chris, the pricing's not right. Well, just go look at what it is in the secondhand market. Right, so this is a 3060 Ti non-LHR. Come over to where it is, non-LHR, and update the pricing. But beware of cards or sellers selling cards saying they're non-LHR because I heard too many times in the past and I've seen people actually get scammed to where they buy a card they said that said it was non-LHR and then when they get it, it's hashing as an LHR card. Challenge the seller, whether it's Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or eBay. Hey, send me the model number. Can you take pictures of the box, front, back, left side, whatever it is. Challenge the seller, get the serial, whatever it may be, get the model number, and confirm that it's non-LHR. If the seller doesn't want to play ball and provide that information to you, then you probably don't want to buy from them. But utilizing this list, I can tell you that the top GPUs that are in my selection, and this is just my opinion, you're, you're free to put your opinion down below in the comments, the 3060 Ti non-LHR and the 3070 non-LHR are my still still my top cards. I would get a 3080, but the 3080 non-LHR is around 2,000 bucks, if not more or less, depending on when you're watching this video. And you can see that it gets us about $19 and almost 50 cents per mega hash. Whereas the 3060 Ti and 3070 non-LHR is about the same. So we're in the same ballpark. Traditionally, I would say don't get the LHR cards, but because of NB Miner, LOL Miner, and T-Rex Miner, and so much more coming out with releases that allow us to unlock or utilize the full performance of LHR cards, it's actually not too bad. The 3060 LHR is only $7.25, and it's not too far ahead. It's $20.71 uh, per mega hash. And then the 3070 LHR is not too far behind as well. So I would say 3060 Ti or 3070 LHR, non-LHR, either way, doesn't matter. Those would be my cards that I would choose. The 3080 is something I would love to have, but considering the pricing, not so much. On the AMD side, the RX 5700 XT is a good card. The 5600 XT is a good card. And the 6700 XT at current pricing is a good card. You're just going to have to come in here, make a copy, update the pricing, make sure the wattage and power draw that you tested on your data is actual or meets up with what's here. Um, and then you can see the efficiency right here or the cost or dollar cost per mega hash. I hope that you use this list well. Savage Mind did a great job. There's a lot of great details in here. The break even or days to break even charts a little bit funky. I wouldn't trust that. But everything else, when you update something, like uh, if you update the wattage right now, like right here, if I updated the wattage on the 6700 XT uh, to 180, the rest of this chart, the rest of this row would update. Watch. You see that? And so just updating the pricing, the wattage, the hash rate will give you all the data that you need. And then you can sort by the best cost per mega hash. But that's pretty much it, guys. I want to just get out of your hair. Sorry for the long video. Uh, we will be building a mining rig soon. So stay tuned for that. But do me a favor, on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date what's going on. As well as check out some of the links in the description, like the Parallel Miner, where you can get a pretty good power supply kit for cheaper than a traditional ATX power supply. Or dogelore.com, you can get some sweet Serpent X merch and much more. You all have a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.